Hello everyone. It's the Black Shadow doing a local recording. Can you believe it? But hello and welcome regardless to the Chainsaw Demo for Resident Evil 4 Remake, which was announced and released openly by Capcom uh, yesterday at time of recording. It's happened before the game has come out, and more importantly, before I journey out of the country for a couple of weeks. So I figure a good time to sit down and uh, see what is in store for us. I did, when I first heard about this on stream, I expected that the demo was going to be focusing on the initial uh, defense and survival in the village, you attack the chainsaw dudes, and it turns out that's exactly what it is. I haven't played this yet, however. But that was my guess. A bit of a note before we get started. Is, and something amazes me in these games. Is as you go on and on and on throughout the series. We've got more and more and more and more and more and more settings. It is amazing. <laughs> it really is. Anyways, every other note is I'm going to be running on control type B. I went through them. There's a few different ones. Uh, one that they think's good. One that's a bit more what I think I'm happy with. But I might well mess around with. Uh, one that's kind of more designed to represent what you did back in the original Resident Evil 4, back in 2005. But I figure for me, it's going to be the B control types, but uh, this may or may not change. Let's delve in. Let's see what we've got. Well, this game is due out in a couple weeks or so. A reminder that I will not be able to do this game when it comes out on the channel because I'm not going to be in the country. And so it'll have to wait until I return at the beginning of April. So by the time I sit down and play this to do for a series, you've probably, a lot of you have probably already played this. September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. The cop inside me died that day. And that night, Raccoon City was wiped out, thanks to the bioweapons created by Umbrella. Somehow I made it out, but too many others weren't so lucky. I was asked later to join a top secret government program. Not that I had a choice. The training, the punishing missions, nearly killed me. But at least I kept my mind off everything. If I could just forget what happened that night. The pain. Even for Marvin. a second. This time, it can be different. It has to. All right, then. I will say, I don't see how this game's going to be bad when it comes out in a couple of weeks. It seems almost impossible. But I'm curious to get my first hands-on impressions of what the game is. So uh, I'll give you kind of a... Our thought and feelings as we go here. I might well play this a couple of times, actually, as well. Chapter 1. In the middle of God knows where. Alright, then. First question, can I go back to the car? I can do it. Alright, here's the old uh, police car. You guys remember this? It is uh, decidedly empty, which is most curious, but okay, then. I can live with that. Also hoping to see how the game is going to look graphically, frame rate rise. Uh, I've heard a few different piece, bits and pieces about like frame rates not necessarily being the most stable in the world, but uh, we'll see how we go here. Feels like I've, uh, I've been here before somehow. You get that impression, folks? I do. Definitely different. Definitely a very different feel immediately. It just, you know, obviously the, just the sheer amount of everything going on is pretty cool. Can I actually inspect this? I cannot know. All right, then. There is a run command. I've obviously got B here. I just want to have a little walk around here as well. I'll get into more depth into the actual mechanics of the game as we as we get there. For now, we're just uh, having a good explore. You 
Some things never change. How far could he have gone? I'm guessing by here he's probably talking about Lewis, if I had to make a guess. But who knows? Hmm. Well, that's, uh, that's probably not good. Yeah, that's, uh, what is best defined as a mess. I don't know how long the demo is. I think it's about, like, 20, 30 minutes, I guess. You know, going through the opening couple of bits of the game, not too bad. There is crouching now. Oh, my God. It's kind of weird playing this game, it kind of being that kind of middle point between, you know, uh, there's obviously the graphical quality we've seen in, like, Village and even RE7, but obviously we're still kind of, like, in the back in the third person mode as well. So it's like a weird combination of, of a kind of different uh, modes of gameplay that we've had over the course of the RE series, which I appreciate and I, I, I like that that's a thing. But it is taking just a fraction of adjusting um, to kind of get used to. But I imagine once the actual game proper begins, I don't think that'll be much of a problem. All right, then. Let's head on inside and uh, begin our investigations. Hello? Seems like a lovely abode. Yeah. Nothing suspicious at all. Anyone home? Hmm. Huh. Well, it's a little bit different. Not quite the uh, opening house and the and the dude, is it? Judgment is nigh, eh? That doesn't sound too good. The word you're looking for is foreboding. Huh. Some kind of dining area of sorts. Quite big little places, isn't it? Is this, this is definitely not like a, like a small house of one dude. This is like a full-on... Like a hunting lodge. More of the insignias around here. I won't talk too much about the plot of this game. If somehow you've never played Resident Evil 4 and don't know the plot, I will not spoil it for you. Don't worry about it. Well, I can't do anything with that. Can't say I'm a fan of all the uh, inscriptions, though. That's a little bit uh, concerning. Oh, hello. Uh, sorry to barge in like this. Okay, I'm picking up Spanish. That's... that's probably not good. Ooh. So that worked. This is not good. Ah, shit. Go again. Well, I'll be borrowing that. Damn, you you kicked that dude somewhat fierce, Leon. I am very impressed. Man, that stinks. Yeah, there's some uh interesting ingredients in that pot, I am very sure. Alright, then anything else around here? 
So here is, I guess, who we're looking for here. Mario here. He's having himself a bad day. National Police Corps. Police Corps? Hmm. Anyway, man. <laughs> Alright, well, we've got our key for the lodge here. I don't think we should be going in here, but, well. Here we go. Right. <clears throat> okay, that's how the shit works. Hello? Mario? I've come to help. Everything's gonna be fine. There's nothing to be worried about. We just got off to the wrong foot with the locals. We'll be able to set it straight and come back home in time for tea. Alright. There is nothing to be alarmed about, buddy. Everything's gonna be okay. I mean, someone had to be optimistic, right? He is, uh... He's pretty dead, is Mario? Highly regretful. So the game are telling me how to do the combats. Because that's gonna be important, I imagine. Okay, so we'll quick before we go out here. So select button is... Oh, the select button. You can tell I'm old school here. Uh, so we've got our map and such, which is good. We've got our key items and our treasures, uh, which is obviously separate to our main inventory. Which is, of course, the return of the attaché case, which is very nice to kind of see. Uh, very, very fun here. So, we've got the SG-09R, uh, which is a customized MUP, which is not bad. Hey, it's got kendo markings on it. Very nice. Kind of neat. So, very statistic, bits and pieces. It's not great. I bet, I mean, are you surprised? I wouldn't be surprised. We've got first aid in here. Also got our combat knife. Okay. Nothing fancy, but I guess it'll do. Leon's go-to is receiving it during his time at the RPD. Cheers for that. Crafting! It makes its continuation in this game as well. Um, so it's kind of a bit weird here. So you pick up like the, the herbs. You, have to, you can combine it via this, which is a little weird to see. Uh, but you can also get like gunpowders and stuff like that to make various ammunitions, which is also good. And we have our various bits and pieces. Here's a mission brief, by the way, if you are not aware of it. Uh, to retrieve Ashley Graham, who is, of course, been kidnapped by evil people. See photo for physical appearance. Got there was something lost the subject as she made her way home from campus. Soon after, she, along with ex-mixed bodyguards, were reported missing. Of her investigation, it was determined that she was kidnapped by an organized group and the team was convened. Uh, confirmed several sightings in a remote village like in the mountainous region of Europe. Just don't ask which one. One agent was specifically chosen for the task. Yes. One. We're not going to send, like, you know, the army. Confirmed perpetrator received help from an insider. Uh, local law enforcement have been brought on board to provide assistance. About that. All right. I don't know what that thing in the top right is, by the way. I've got my mouse here. So we've got, obviously, our money pesetas here. I have no idea what that is. Maybe we'll find out. Can I actually, like... I guess I can... Uh... Oh, it's 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 ticked off, but it's not like you get rid of it. So... I tell you what, it's actually kind of a cool key. Not gonna lie. Disturbing. But hey. Also, you'll notice that you don't have to go into your inventory now. In order to, like, equip whatever you weapon you want, like in the old day, uh, you can indeed uh, just shorthand it and get it from here now, which is neat, and I appreciate that. What was that?
So, think of it as like kind of still generally based. No fucking way. Well. Oi. This just keeps getting worse. Huh. He wasn't dead. Also, he looks absolutely terrifying. But yeah, it's basically, the theme is generally RE4, but there's, been, there's a lot of quality of life improvements over the course of, um, like, dotting around, which is really appreciative. That's probably not good. <clears throat> we need to find a way out of here. Post haste. Hmm, don't remember that being there. Let me see. Okay. Oh, open that. Anything useful? Got a herb. All right. Because you know. They don't just grow in a mountainous region of uh, Raccoon City, but also across the globe. You didn't know that? Yeah, do now. <clears throat> huh. That's the same picture. Also, that wall is not rendering very well. Ignore that, everyone. It's a demo. <clears throat> Quiet. Bruce, this is Gondor One. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? Hey. Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. She's we changed on a nearby lake. She may have been taken there. Copy that. I'll see what I can find. Hurry up. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Talk later. Well, this is so a little awkward. <laughs> Let's say you know everything we may change. The dude didn't lob his axe at us. Very strange. You know what? Yeah. I ain't complaining. Not complaining at all. Alright then. I will say, I do miss Onigan's old VA. I just think it was just absolutely perfect for the, the role and everything. What can you do? So here's the lodge. There's a little below area. So this is going to take us towards... So this is like the kind of the mountainous pathway, and then over here is going to be the actual the, the village we need to go to. Accuracy, how big is this map? So, this is the Hunter's Lodge. How far does this go? Oh, yeah. We got some size. All right. There's no loading or animations like that, like there used to be. So, the idea is to have a lot more kind of natural uh, exploration of the map and the, what you're doing, which is obviously very cool. Also, one thing that's nice about this game, and at least this demo, is unlike the previous few, it's not like you play it once, you've got an hour, and that's it, you're locked out, which I've never been a big fan of as a design choice. You know, this you can play this demo as many times as you want. You can explore it in different ways. You know what? I think that's a good thing. <clears throat> I got to nose. Well, son of a bitch. Some things never change. So, one thing is also noted as well, and I'll quickly point this out in case you're unaware, is that, yeah, so obviously our herbs in there. Now our gunpowder is also here as well, but you can stack that a little bit, which is um, kind of neat. Very nice. Weight of we don't know how much. 
It's always weird just looking at these things. You find all sorts of weird stuff. Anyways, don't worry about that. So we've got a combat knife, uh, which much like in the previous, uh, like Remake 2 and whatever, uh, this has a durability. Can't just use it the whole time. Now, also the note is you don't have to, like, equip it for anything. You can, um, using, I think it's LB for my control scheme, is you can actually get out and uh, equip that. Which is also nice as well, so that's cool. And I appreciate that. But yeah, definitely just everything just feels really nice and smooth and sort of else. Also, you don't need to knife boxes anymore. You can just come up to them, kick them. And that's good. All right. Huh. That's a nice little touch. You can actually uh, have the 10 plus one in the chamber. Nice. Not a lot of gamers let you do that sort of thing. That's a, that's a nice little realistic touch. Not just resulting in, you know, in the 10 in the magazine. You also have the extra one in the chamber. That's, that's neat. I'm not allowed to use the typewriter for the reasons. It's a demo, I expect. I believe my understanding is that the typewriter is also not just for saying they allow you a degree of, like, item storage or something like that. In the main game, from what I have read and heard. I heard that. Huh. I can't aim while I am crouched. I could have shot them. It's fine. Jeez. This is your warning. Watch the ground. One of the things I always enjoyed of Remake 4, or with the original RE4, is there was a lot of the game of, like, showing without the need to tell you. The game treating you with a degree of intelligence and not thinking you're a complete idiot. And I appreciate that, you know? I saw that. Do you see that? Now, the idea is as well is there's meant to be a degree of stealth about the game in some parts. Where you can... There we are. Pasadas. All right. Uh, where you can look to try and crouch and kind of try and stealth up an enemies a little bit, if necessary. Definitely was not a thing in the original RE4. Well, that didn't work. Oi! Put it down, sir! So, yeah. When you can melee dudes, it will give you an actual command to say you can melee them. Which is neat. Get him! Oh, that doesn't count. You can also kill stuff on the ground and stuff like that as well. You'll get your various prompts as you go, which again, I appreciate that. You know, it's neat. Okay, it's just something you got to get uh, used to and adjusted to. It is definitely different from what we've uh, had in the past, so. Imagine in the main game we'll be able to examine stuff like that. I kind of miss you know, being able to examine these and Leo just like, yep, shit's coming. So I don't want to be walking too fast from this. Because of shit like that. Ow. Damn it. I take damage from that? I think I took some damage from that. No, I didn't take any damage. The game's like, that's your one freebie. Don't do it again. Right. Should we try this, everyone? Wait! Ow! Get him! Yeah! Damn! That was vile. Flash grenades, because, you know, why would you not find flash grenades around here? Red Hurt? Okay. So, I've got to know. Can we actually, like, just combine these, or do we have to do it via the, uh, yeah, weapon shortcuts? All that good stuff. 
Okay, I can do it that way. Thank the Lord. I was concerned it was going to be like, you must do it by the menu. I'm like, do I really have to do that? Must be that is no. So, I've got the amount of gunpowder. I need that blue thing, whatever that is. Something that I do not have currently, so... Hopefully so. Does it mean this Leon's gun look kind of weird? I guess it's like the way the light's reflecting. Like, it is silver, but it's like... It looks like either, like, it's gold-plated, or it's like been in like a, a dirty sink for like a month <clears throat> lovely <laughs> lovely We're here. This is probably not good. Shit. Jesus, he wasn't even dead. A bad way to go. All right. Well, Hunnigan, we've got a problem. They're mad. And of course, we know how this has to go down, right? Let's see what we can uh, sneak around here and manage. No way into that main barn. I can already thought you used to be able to get access to this house fairly reliably without attracting a ton of attention. Hmm. Of course, once this all kicks off, we have a problem. Grab some money. Well, I don't think we have any use for the money in this uh, round, in this game, but, you know. I mean, I would have wondered what the hell that sound was. Right. Hello! Oi! Lady! Right. I think we need to, uh... No longer be here. That has gone poorly. Oh, it was a vault spot. That's nice to know. Hey, hey! Come hand on. me! Fell demon! Wouldn't mind that. Uh oh. Oh, that's a problem. I need to not be here. Leon! Let's get out of here, buddy. They're crazy. Jesus. Ah, this looks like safety, doesn't it? We'll be fine in here, right? Nothing will go wrong. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. God help us. Alright. Well, let's get ready for hell. Because it's coming, alright? Resources. First aid, give me all the goods. Because they are coming. Oh, faithful. Oh, nice. Right, I think healing is going to be in order here. Let me just quickly munch one of these. All right, then. So we can craft some handgun rounds. Go ahead and do that. All right. I got a craft bonus. All right. Very good. It's a nice thing. 
Let's dance! Oof. Oof. It's pretty, na pretty gnarly. Oh, you can just right trigger without um, having any uh, weapon out. It's good to know. Bye. Oh, my fucking shoulder. Hello. I mean, we need to not be here anymore. Hmm. Who are you protecting up? Uh, I keep pressing A to run. I don't have the right inventory. Go! Jesus! That's not good. I. Well. I'm in cutscene? You're shitting me. Present for you. I need not be here anymore. That's a lot of dudes. the eggs. Ah, man, that's painful. Okay. Look to self. Shit hurts. Oh, bastards. Keep going from behind. It's pretty annoying, I'm not gonna lie. I need to hide. Oi! I gotta get used to the controls. I feel a little sluggish, but I, I'm gonna put that largely on me, to be honest. Oi! Can't do that! Also, this pistol, it's not very good. Let's just be blunt here. You gotta be kidding me. Damn! Jesus. Wait, I got it. Get him, Leon. Yeah. He is a mess. He's also not dead yet. That's kind of concerning. It's kind of got how that phases into the cutscene there. It's a nice little touch. Where's everyone going? Bingo? It's a pretty horrific sight, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> So there you are. That is a, uh, a first look at the demo.
I'm gonna put down a little bit of control sluggishness to me and not being particularly used to it. Maybe I might go for the A. I kept pressing A to run. I mean, it's because of my, like, playing the like, RE5 and RE6 is messing with me. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. I might well mess with uh, some different control schemes to see which one works better for me. Not a lot to go by. You know, kind of so getting a little bit of feel of kind of the mechanics we're going to deal with here. I do feel like... And it definitely, definitely feels like the uh, the village holdout scene used to be a lot longer. And maybe it will be in the main game. But you don't get a lot of time in the holdout there to, like, kind of do a whole lot, really. Like, there's a load of that place we did not explore. So, and it'd be nice to do so. And say, like, I'll have another couple of dabs at this in this village area. And we'll see what we make of it. It's all right, Capcom. You'll get my money, I'm sure. No doubt. All right, then. So, uh, I will break the recording here to make sure everything's recording well. And assuming it is, uh, we will have a part two for the demo. And I'll do a bit more exploring, bits of pieces you can delve with. Uh, I haven't really touched about those, like, parrying and stuff you can do with the knife and things like that as well, which I didn't even get into there. And other things I want to explore in this demo. So, if you're watching, curious to know what you guys have made of the demo. I'm sure you a lot of you have given it a spin as well. And I'll see you in the next video where we're going to explore a little bit more of Resident Evil 4 and what secrets do still lie in. I'll see you then.